In this video, again we are taking one problem based on the transient specifications. Okay, that means MP, TP, all these terms. So here for the control system shown in the figure, so this is the control system. Find the values of K1 and K2. So K1 and K2, we don't know the values. So that MP is given as 25% and TP is 4 seconds. Assume unit step input. Now, before uh, proceeding, we have to go for the COFS, that means the transfer function, right? Transfer function is nothing but COFS by RFS. So, which is equal to formula is GOFS by 1 minus sign is a negative feedback. So, you have to take plus GOFS into RF, uh, sorry, HFS, okay? GOFS is nothing but the this one. So, these two you can see which is in series to so that multiplication. So, this is HFS. This is GOFS. This is HFS. So, GOFS, I will multiply K1 into 1 by S square. Both are in series. So, multiplication divided by 1 plus K1, sorry, K1 into 1 by S square into HFS. So, 1 plus K2S. Okay. So, we have to simplify this. So, K1 by S square divided by this one will become um, S square or I'll write it as 1 plus K1 by S square into 1 plus K2 S. So, what I'll do, I'll take LCM here. So, S square I'll get, uh, will get multiplied here. So, K1 by S square divided by S square plus K1 into 1 plus K2 S whole thing divided by s square so this s square and this s square get cancelled so what is the remaining thing so this i can take it inside that means a uh, bracket open the bracket so it will be k1 by s square plus k1 plus k1 k2 s correct simple another thing is that uh, this is nothing but transfer function which is equal to c of s by R of us. So we got it the final value. Now this is transfer function. Next we will compare it with the standard form. What is the standard form? It is nothing but omega n square by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square. This is a standard form of a second order uh, system. Okay. For C of s by R of s. So we have to compare with this so that we will get the value of omega n and zeta. Omega n is the natural frequency zeta is the damping ratio so before that you can see here k1 is there okay omega n square is k1 here and omega n square uh, should be k1 so basically i have i have to shift this to here and this to here because you can observe the s is there so s is the coefficient of that k1 k2 so it should come in the middle part yes s square is there then s coefficient then omega n square correct so i have to just rearrange this So, final transfer function will be K1 by S square plus K1 K2 S plus K1 which I have to compare with omega n square S square plus this thing. So, when I compare omega n square will become what? K1. So, that implies omega n will be become square root of K1. Okay. Next, comparing the middle term. So, you can see always compare with this. Uh, tra trans oh sorry what is it the characteristic equation which is nothing but the denominator so i compared omega n square here so i got k1 and here k1 k2 s i have to compare with this so it will be 2 zeta omega n s i am comparing with k1 k2 s so this has no need so from this omega n value i can substitute here from this so it will become 2 zeta into square root of k1 is equal to k1 k2 okay so from this zeta value i can get k1 k2 divided by 2 into square root of k1 now this k1 i can write what i can write it as i can write k1 as square root of k1 into square root of k1 right it's the same thing into k2 divided by 2 into square root of k1 okay simple 2 i can write it as square root of 2 into square root of 2 so, uh, I get it as square root get cancelled. So, what is remaining? So, I can write half of this thing. So, zeta value I got it as half of square root of k1 into k2. So, I got zeta value as well as the 
omega n value and few values are given that is mp is given and tp is given right so from mp i'll try to get to get some values so mp formula will apply so mp percentage mp formula is given as e power minus pi zeta divided by 1 minus zeta square into 100 100 because i percentage okay now from this mp is given as 25 percent so i can substitute here 25 correct mp percentage is 25 equal to this same thing e power minus pi zeta divided by 1 minus zeta square into 100 so this 100 i can take it to the lhs part so 25 by 100 which is nothing but 0 0.25 okay 0 0.25 which is equal to uh, what will happen e power minus pi zeta by 1 minus zeta square okay square root of that so this is the final thing so after this what i can do so i can take the natural log on both sides so that i can eliminate this exponential part okay so taking natural log so what will happen natural log of 0 0.25 equal to when i take natural log here this exponential will get cancelled so what is the remaining minus pi zeta by 1 minus zeta square okay so what is the natural log so let me just tell you see here i have this calculator in this you can see here one option is a log and this one is there okay this is basically land which is nothing but natural log okay ln so here press that okay beside the log is there and uh, we have to find out for 0 0.25 so 0 0.25 so i'll get the value as minus 1.3862 okay so i'll write that value so it is minus 1.3862 which is equal to minus pi zeta by 1 minus zeta square so this minus and this minus might get cancelled now see the thing is that you might uh, get one doubt here that is nothing but why am i not substituting the zeta value here that is nothing but half of uh, square root of k1 and k2 the thing is that it is unknown basically it is unknown right k1 and k2 value we don't have so instead of that we have mp formula from that see here in this equation you can see only one unknown is there that is nothing but zeta so i can easily get the value of zeta correct so for that purpose only i am not substituting this half into square root of k1 into k2 that thing okay so let me just continue this so from this i can take this to this side so what will happen uh 1 minus sorry 1.3862 into square root of 1 minus zeta square equal to pi zeta now in order to remove this square root i can just square on both sides okay squaring on both sides i can remove this square root part so squaring so squaring what happens a uh, square of one point three eight six two so i'll get 1.92 okay square of that value so i'll get 1.92 next two into square root this get cancelled so 1 minus zeta square will be remaining equal to pi square zeta square correct square root and square uh, get cancelled okay now next thing i need to get i need to combine this it or let me just uh, expand this bracket okay so it will be 1.9218 minus 1.9218 into zeta square is equal to pi square into zeta square okay now i will compile uh, this to that side so what will happen pi square zeta square plus 1.9218 zeta square equal to 1.9218 from this I can take zeta square common so what will happen pi square plus 1.9218 so it will be 1.9218 okay so from this zeta square i can keep it on the one side and take other things to the right hand side 1.9218 will remain as it is divided by whole thing divided by this thing pi square plus 1.9218 okay so the when i solve this two uh these two equations that means this two part i'll get this as 0 0.1629 okay so from this i can get the value of zeta right zeta square is this one so what will be zeta it will be square root of 0 0.1629 so which is equal to 0 0.4 4037 so zeta value we got now after getting zeta value 
I have one more value which is given in the question which is nothing but TP so TP is given 4 seconds so applying TP formula what I can get so so I'll just write it here so TP value is given 4 seconds okay now TP formula we know which is equal to pi by omega d correct so which is equal to 4 seconds I can write now here pi value we know omega d value we can get it correct but the thing is that omega d is nothing but omega n into 1 minus zeta square so why am I doing this replacing omega d with omega n into 1 minus zeta square since I have this uh, zeta value I can get omega uh, omega n value see I have two equations right omega n I got it as square root of k1 and zeta value I got it as half of square root of k1 into k2 so since I got zeta value I can try to get one equation here and I'm, I am I will be trying to get omega n value such that I can get the value of k1 okay so I have written here properly tp is equal to pi by omega d which is equal to 4 and omega d I am replacing with omega n into 1 minus zeta the square root of that okay so from this I can uh, I can get the value of omega n so let me just simplify so it will be pi by omega n as it is 1 minus what is zeta zeta value we have it is nothing but 0 0.4037 and square we have to do which is equal to 4 correct so from this I can get the value of omega n right so just shifting this to that side and uh, simplifying so what will happen so I'll take this to that side so pi is equal to 4 into omega n into square root of 1 minus 0 0.4037 square okay and when I multiply it will become pi is equal to uh, 4 omega n this value I can get it so I'm getting it as this part it is 0 0.914 okay so it is 0 0.914 so I will multiply with 4 this value I'll multiply with 4 so I'll get it 3.65 so pi is equal to 3.6595 omega n so from this I can get the value of omega n which is equal to pi by 3.6595 so I will be getting approximately 0 0.8584 radian per second unit is very very important okay so radian per second I got this value omega n now the next thing is that we had two equations one is omega n is equal to starting square root of k1 another equation what zeta is equal to half of square root of k1 into k2 these two equations so we got omega n value and zeta value as well so I can substitute here omega n value as this one correct so omega n value 0 0.8584 is equal to square root of k1 from this I can just square root I will bring it to this side it will become 0 0.8584 square which is equal to k1 so that implies k1 value I will get it as what 0 0.7369 approximately okay next thing zeta equation i'll substitute zeta value i got it as what um it was 0 0.4037 which is equal to half of square root of k1 into k2 so square root of k1 value is directly this one okay see here this value is nothing but directly this one so i can substitute here that implies 0 0.4037 which is equal to half into this value is this 0 0.85 sorry 8584 into k2 okay so from this i can get the value of k2 which is equal to what which is equal to 0 0.9405 just simplify this take it to this side take the half of this and take it to this side you'll get the value of k2 so k1 k2 values we got so this was a simple question but a little bit calculation work is there